With stack deep pat flap breast reconstruction, there will be scars. Typically, the scar on the abdomen is made to try and hide the scar as low as possible, so that scar will be hidden in a bikini or a bathing suit. But well, that scar ends up being typically from the hip, one end of the hip to the other. For the thigh, with a vertical pat flap, the scar ends up going diagonally on the inner aspect of the thigh so that it is very difficult to see when the thighs are together. Scars typically heal fairly well. However, occasionally those scars can be more prominent. And for those patients, we have adjunctive techniques including laser, steroid injections, and some of the even surgical scar revision to make the scar look as good as possible. So scarring, part of it is in the surgeon's control, but most of it is honestly outside of the surgeon's control in terms of how one's body heals. The same, the same scar on five different people is going to look different depending on their skin type and their genetic predisposition to scarring. Some patients simply produce thick or dark scars that can usually be handled with steroid injection, a silicone taping, lasers, and massage but some of that is out of the surgeon's control. I think most patients, though, that we're operating on scar fairly well. Um, scarring in the abdomen is not the same as just having a C-section incision. You know, sometimes uh, patients say, I have a nice scar like this. But when you're actually taking out tissue and then you're pulling it closed, you're putting some degree of tension on the closure. And tension will tend to widen a scar. Now we do do, as we both do a lot of the same things, uh, progressive tension sutures to offload the tension on the, on the line of closure, to reduce the widening. Uh, we really take every measure possible. In the end, uh, breast reconstruction is a big surgery. And using your own tissue has significant advantages over implants. The scarring is unfortunately not one of them. The fact that the scars are not isolated at the breast, but in other parts of the body. Because when we need to take tissue from one part of the body to the other, it will leave a scar in the area that we're taking it from. And that's that's the main that's the main trade-off, all things being equal. If the patient is okay with the scar, using your own tissue in the long term, uh, far superior to, to an implant. The one advantage an implant has over tissue is there's no additional scar. The, the other thing to consider, and this depends on every patient, is what the scar is going to look like up on the breast. Whether there's going to be a large patch of skin or whether the flap the tissue is going to be completely buried really depends on how much skin you're starting with. If you're having the, the tissue reconstruction at the time of the mastectomy and you have all of that skin and it's got a good blood supply, you're really not going to see or shouldn't see much, if at all, any of the flap. On the other hand, if you've had radiation and no reconstruction or very contracted implant, a lot of that skin is going to need to be removed just because it's tight and need to be replaced with soft tissue from the abdomen you know, or the thigh. And so I'll always tell patients the patch of skin, the size, really will depend and um, the final decisions are made in, in the operating room. But usually we can give a, a general idea of what that's going to look like.